Hi, we're going to have a quick look at how to use Wi-Fi through the red box, so in particular using one of our Wi-Fi extenders, one of our Wi-Fi bats. Now the whole process is quite straightforward. Obviously the first thing you'd need to do is to make sure that you have actually connected the Wi-Fi bat to the red box. So that's simply a case of taking the USB cable from the Wi-Fi bat and connecting it into the back of the red box. Okay, the next thing we need to do is connect our laptop to the Redbox Wi-Fi network. And to do that, I'm using a Mac here, but uh, if you're using a PC, you just go up to your Wi-Fi connection, and we make sure that we're joining the appropriate Wi-Fi network here. Mine is one of my test boxes, and we can see that we've given it this name here. All right, so I'm now connected via Wi-Fi to my Redbox. So the next thing I need to do is to bring up the control page on the red box that allows us to select whether we want to use the Wi-Fi bat and also to control which Wi-Fi we're connected to. To do that, we simply need to go to a web page, red box. And you can see I'd bookmark that to make it much easier to visit as well if I need to again. So in this case, I've added a bookmark here. It makes it very straightforward to come back to this page. At the top of the screen it shows us that currently we're not using any internet connection. So the red box acts as a clever switch and it allows us to choose which of several internet connections that it has plugged into the back of it, which one we want to use. So maybe the first thing we should do is we should go and see which Wi-Fi networks are available. So here we've got the option join Wi-Fi network and this is a settings, um, it allows us to choose how the Wi-Fi network is connected to shore. So let's click into here, and this shows us all the Wi-Fi networks the Wi-Fi back can see. And what we may need to do is press scan a couple of times, and this will kick off a scan in the background to show, it'll have a look to see what extra networks are available. I'll click it again, and what you should find is the list tends to get longer each time as it hears of more things that are in the background. There we go, we can see quite a few networks here. And we've used color coding Orange is the name of the network we're currently connected to, and green networks are ones that we've had success with in the past. So the idea is if we return to a place we've been to before, we can very quickly see which networks have been useful in the past. I can see this other network here, which is at 100%. I'm going to have a go at connecting to that. The ones with a padlock on the side I'll need to know a password for. Uh, the ones without a padlock will be those that are open access points, although they may subsequently need you to go and visit a page to pay, but they don't need a password to actually connect to the Wi-Fi network initially. So to connect to this network, all I need to do is click on it. There's a short pause while it negotiates with the Wi-Fi connection and checks a load of settings. And here we can see at the top a success message that we have been able to join that Wi-Fi network. But it does not mean that we're currently using the Wi-Fi network. The red box is acting as a kind of switch. And so in order to choose to use that Wi-Fi network, we now need to come down to connect to internet. And this option here allows us to choose which internet connection we would actually like to use. And you can see on my demonstration box here, I've actually got a lot of internet connections set up. But the one I'm interested in here is this Wi-Fi bat connection. As I click it, the right-hand side shows us that I can make this decision either only for my laptop or I can make it for all devices on board. In this case, I think it would be convenient to move the whole boat over to use Wi-Fi. So I'm going to choose the all devices option. We've also got a series of numbered options be below, and these allow us to choose some restrictions. These are most useful if you have an expensive connection, perhaps such as a satellite telephone and they allow us to restrict what parts of the internet we can reach. I think here that I know my broadband connection is going to have no significant incremental cost, and so I'm going to leave myself on the default number one, unrestricted access to the internet, which is basically how most people have been using the internet their entire lives. This is, you can do whatever you want. And to make our choice, we actually have to press the select internet connection button, and that actually makes the change. And here we can see at the top we've got our success message and we can also see that we've now selected to use the Wi-Fi bat. So from here we simply need to open a new browser tab and we can access the internet connection in the normal way. Let's try and visit the MailerCell website and see what happens. 
Notice that I've typed in the complete website, mailersale with the .com on the end. And when I press return, I'm immediately redirected to the login page. This is a BT open zone where I'm expected to pay to use it. The point of showing you to type in the full domain is useful. We have a, a support page that will explain more, but essentially you cannot visit encrypted web pages. So we cannot go to, for example, here we've got HTTPS webmail.com. It's not possible to redirect encrypted web pages to the login page. If it's not obvious why, have a look through our support page, but essentially it would allow naughty people to be able to redirect you to pages that might be able to steal your password. The interesting thing is if we type in single words, something along the lines of this, this will cause a trigger to be redirected to an encrypted Google web page. And of course, as we've just said, this does not allow you to get access to the login page. So a reason that we regularly see customers have problems popping up the login page in a Marina website is because they'll type something like mail a sale in, which will of course a redirect to Google's encrypted web page rather than mail a sale dot com. The short version of that is keep a tame bookmark page that you can visit that will cause the Marina login page to appear. Bang, we're in. Let's just have a look at some of the other nice to know features about the red box. So if we wanted to now disconnect our use of the internet, we can come back into connect to internet and we have an option here to disconnect and we can either disconnect ourselves or we can disconnect the entire boat. And what we've done now is we've cut off all internet access to everybody using the, the boat. And we can see that's confirmed at the top. The other thing that we might wish to do is to change the label for the Wi-Fi connection to shore. And we can do that by coming into settings and up here on the top where it says internet connections, we can see again the list of all of our internet connections and here at the bottom we can see our Wi-Fi bat. The default name for most customers will say something like wireless one, but we can see that it's very easy to come in here and give it a more meaningful name.